One, two, three. Merry Christmas! Dyslexia. What a cruel term. It's the one thing no dyslexic could ever spell. You can't be on my bad list because then I only have one person on my good list. <laughs> I was talking to my, uh, my grandmother's boyfriend. Yeah, my grandmother has a boyfriend, all right? Like, can we just not go there? Happy birthday, Mr. T! And he goes, it's not my birthday. He says birthday, too. He goes, it's not my birthday. S Strawberry Hershey syrup? <laughs> that makes no sense. Wham! Ah! I pretty much have time for three things, actually. Um, doing my homework, complaining about doing my homework, and wearing ironic t-shirts. <laughs> it's really time consuming. Aquafina, action water, action water. Um, what are your names? Josh. Josh? And Jack. Josh and Jack. That's a little too perfect. <laughs> My parents tell me that all the time. Get off the internet, you should be doing your homework. But that's not really fair. You think the people of older generations had to deal with our pressures? The pressures that I have to deal with? How can I do homework knowing that there are colorful bubbles that need to be popped? <laughs> the pie never stops. Uh, as Kesha would say. Um, <laughs> what, I don't think she even says that. Is it party don't stop? Is that what she says? Yeah. yeah. Teenagers, party don't start? I've got it, <laughs> I got it completely wrong, didn't I? Um, I'm going to have to um, go back to Kesha 101, I think. Um, there was, okay, no more. N note to self, never do a Kesha joke again. Um, My legs jiggle when I walk. It's a common problem and every girl in here knows exactly what I'm talking about. Like you're walking down the streets in a pair of shorts and like, it's like shaking a bowl of jello. Here comes the in-between joke in which I don't really tell anything funny, we just talk. The panda bear comes from the raccoon family. It is one I of the raccoon... It is a member of the raccoon family. That's why it looks like a raccoon. I feel so informed. <laughs> what pen penguin... No, you're doing the microphone. But, uh, I get a microphone? <laughs> You're, are you almost, I think you're taller than me, maybe. That's se semi-threatening to me. <laughs> All right, Aiden. Um, is this, how much of this is a cry for help? <laughs> well done, anonymous angsty child. At, at this age, you don't really grow a mustache. It kind of looks like, like a sickly caterpillar more. It's kind of... It's not like one of those cool Fu Man shoes, you know? It's kind of like nature's reminder that you're gross. And it's like, yeah, thanks, nature. I think I uh, got the memo when I started waking up smelling like cheese. All my other classes are in like touchy, modern, progressive America, and then there's my dictator gym teacher in 1910 Russia training us to be her foot soldiers. <sighs> I hate tenure. And I guarantee you, if they had a typewriter game 30 years ago, my parents would have been all over it. <laughs> See how many letter A's you can type on one sheet of paper. This is so much fun. Yeah, they would have. For those of you who ha don't have Windows computers, Clippy is this little annoying paper clip who sits at the top of your screen and tries to help you, but really only just makes you really angry at yourself and everything around you. So Clippy pops up and says, Hey, are you trying to spell anti-disestablishmentarianism? No, Clippy, I am trying to spell seashell. <laughs> Girl Scouts are supposed to raise strong, confident women. But with all the stuff that they do, it's gotta be a weird pep talk. It's gotta be like, you must be strong, self-confident, tough, brave, and wise, and you must ever cry, why don't you be ditzy now? Who wants to sell some cookies? <laughs>